Alrighty guys, this is Eric Johnson alongside, well not alongside this time, we're going to be via satellite. Also known as a computer. Via satellite. Uh, yes. Basically, I could be in a different part of his house via Skype, you know, like WWE does, via satellite, I'm backstage, just on a camera. But nonetheless, this is our SummerSlam 2018 match card predictions. Brought to you by nobody because Skype sucks. Absolutely. So it was kind of funny uh, how this had to work because you wanted to see my face doing this, but... uh, (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of have to. I, ha- I had to use OBS to put my beautiful face on the bottom right. I can't see him at all. Uh, he'll see me after the fact. But uh, so he, he can be doing stupid shit, but then he knows that I could also be doing stupid shit. But he'll see it and he'll be able to react to it, whereas I'll have to react to it later. Anyway, let's uh, let's let's uh, start. Uh, so let's begin. So. It's uh, gonna be the uh, first match we're gonna be talking about here. I see is Finn Balor versus Baron Corbin. Um, this is basically a pay per view rematch from last month. Yeah, Rangers. it's a it's a grudge match. So Finn won the first one via roll up because I was paying attention to that match before Baron I got Corbin dropped. did beat him on Raw. These guys faced each other way too many times. I don't see this match being that good. Um, it's probably gonna be one of your typical mediocre mid card matches. Maybe it's the opening match. That's how bad it is. So, <laughs> I'm going to say Baron Corbin wins. I'm going to I'm gonna have to agree because the way that Finn won at Extreme Rolls was a flash pinfall roll-up. Um, th- either way, one of these guys is getting screwed over here. I mean, the booking of both of them has been god-awful. And if you want to advance the uh, Baron Corbin constable shit... You gotta let Corbin win, so that's both votes for Corbin. Uh, next match we're gonna be talking about. I think uh, I don't think Bleach reports correct on that being the second match, but nonetheless, it's, it's Daniel just Burn hard. versus the Miz. Uh, I see great potential in this match. You know, from the 2016 interview from the Miz. Oh, uh, and going back to NXT, keep that in mind. The original NXT where uh, Miz was his pro. Right. I also want no, to WWE's been building out. it that way on on YouTube all week. Sorry. To a point, I see that guy's uh, point on uh, on the chemistry thing. But no, uh, hey, I'm sorry. I had to get that little factoid out there. I apologize. Yeah, Continue. Okay. That's fine. But you know, the uh, the whole entire uh, rant from uh, the Miz on Daniel Bryan right in front of his face. That was a shoot, not a uh, not a work at all. That has been talked about, so I mean, I think I think the bad blood between those two from that has been blown over ever since. So, I, my opinion, I don't think this is going to be as good of a match as it should be. So that's kind of my point. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I think you're building off of from original NXT, where you can see the dissension between the Miz and Daniel Bryan even back then. Like I WWE, like I said, has been building off it all week. Uh, there's like part one where they talk about the time in NXT. Um, there's part two where they talk about the uh, Talking Smack rant. And you get both their sides from both, which obviously the first one's more of a work where, you know, they destined it to go that way. Whereas the Talking Smack was very much more realistic. And, you know, Dandre Bryant has to walk away because he had to think of it. I don't have a competing contract. I really am not safe here. In that way, if I put my hands on the Miz, I could be fired. But at the same time, that was the time when he was thinking he wanted to go leave anyway. So it could have went either way. I think the match is going to suffer a little. Because they didn't pull the trigger on it right away. Yeah, it waited a while. And it's built up more, but it should have happened sooner. So They forgot about this whole rivalry thing for ages. Oh, and then he gets put on SmackDown. Or, yeah, he was fucking on, he's still on SmackDown, but now he's competing. And the Miz gets put over there. That should have immediately, no, let's wait a little longer. Uh, that's, that, that's that's why I don't think the, the five-star potential is there. That's, that's just my opinion. Yeah, no. If I had to pick, I think Miz is going to take it. I, that's, I, that's what I'm thinking. I think they're going to have Miz uh, be put over as, is, is Daniel Bryan still um, active? 
Does he act like every week? Yeah, he's he's considered active. I'd say he's been fairly active. He's on the show. He's wrestling. I still think it's going to be this. I mean, his contract's coming into an end here soon, so I'm going to say they want him to get a win uh, just to keep him around in a major rivalry. So I'm going to have to go with Daniel Bryan just for argument's sake. Uh, with the contract coming up, you're going to want to keep him happy, and a win at a pay per view might help. But does WWE want Bryan? Well, clearly they want Bryan. They got pissed at him for even thinking about going to another company. That's why they pulled the trigger on him coming back. Fair enough. I still think they're going to have the Miz win. All right, I'm uh, going with Daniel Bryan, so this is our first differential. Obviously, we're only two in, so um, we have I, both. I want to see Daniel Bryan win. I just think the booking goes towards Miz. Uh, so here we go. Next match, I did not. If, if I haven't watched the product in a little bit, like for like maybe a week or two. Um, well, you're on so, vacation, so. Right. And this is funny. I have not heard of Rusev and Lana versus Andre Andrade Almas. I can't say his fucking name. Andrade Cien Almas. Andrade Andrade Almas. There we go. And Zelina Vega. I have not heard this match get hyped at all on my WWE fucking app. Like the notifications on my phone. WWE. So that's that's how much they're pushing this match, right? Um, I don't know what the build up is. Why they're feuding. Uh, my guess is they're probably going to have Rusev and Lana win. I'm going to go with the opposite. They're going to give Andrade Cien Almas and Selena Vega the push up the mountain. They really like uh, Cien Almas for his match against AJ Styles. He had a WWE title match, and it went real well. I mean, he didn't win, clearly. But um, they put on a hell of a match, so WWE is interested in the worker he is. And I feel that he could eventually have a mid-card to main event title. I think WWE has the faith in him, so I'm going to give it to Cien Almas and Selena Vega. All right. So there we go. There's another differing uh, prediction there. So for the Cruiserweight title match, it's going to be Cedric Alexander and Drew Gulak. Once again, I really don't pay attention to Cruiserweight since after they've uh, been taken off Raw. So based on how I do know, I've known them for um, months ago when I watched it. I'm going to have to guess Cedric Alexander gets the win. Cedric, you got to be careful with this one because I feel this one could go either way because, one, Cedric was the first champion after Enzo left, I believe. No, no, wait. There's also rumors he could be signing back with WWE after. Oh, no, Enzo's done with wrestling. If that's what you're thinking, no. Enzo has straight up said he's done with wrestling. Uh, well, Enzo's not coming back. Rumors have been going around. I mean, he might have said it at one point. Who knows? We'll find no, out. No, he just said this on uh, TMZ. He's never coming back to wrestling. He's a rapper now. Um, yeah, he's okay, not coming back. Thing. Neville is somebody you want back. You know, with Enzo gone, you think he'd be back by now? No, he's still, he's just pissed. It's a contract dispute. I don't know what's going on with it. If you guys know, drop it in the comments. Contract dispute? Dispute about what? He didn't want to drop it to Enzo because Enzo's a worthless piece of shit. Ask Simon Gotch. He'll tell you he's a cancer. He couldn't wrestle. He couldn't, the, remember that spot where he accidentally hurt Enzo? Yeah. It was Enzo's fault. Well, we all were like, oh, look at Simon Gotch being a dick now. He asked Enzo, can you do the spot? Yeah, I can do the spot. Can, are you sure you can do this spot? Yeah, I've done it a million times. I can do it. Okay. Goes for the spot, almost kills himself. That's interesting to know. Um, so, yeah, I, I think Cedric wins. Please. I'm going to go with Cedric, too, just because, you know, they've been keeping these longevity title reigns, so might as well keep it on Cedric. All right, then. So we got Braun Strowman and Kevin Owens, money in the bank contract on the line. Uh, Braun Strowman trying to piss in uh, Kevin Owens' Wheaties whenever he can, every week. Uh, ruining his stage, his car, his fucking. He flipped him in a porta potty. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, though. Uh, yeah. He's just putting Kevin Owens through hell. Um, I'm going to go with the bold prediction and say KO wins. See, I've been thinking about this one. So I'm glad we you went with KO because, honestly, I've been thinking about this. Put it this way. Um, the obvious choice would be Braun, obviously bigger than KO. You know, they've been pushing him, and he's gone nowhere. 
So logic would dictate Braun wins, goes on, cashes in on Roman Reigns after he wins, and Braun's the new Universal Champion for Roman to win it at the next pay-per-view, right? That's yeah. what you, you've been conditioned to think, right? Right. I think Vince might throw a curveball in this. KO cheats to win. I honestly think KO will win. KO cheats to win. I think this is a ladder match, too. If it's a ladder match, KO will find a way. Trap Braun Strowman's fucking leg in the ladder. I don't know. I, I honestly think WWE might throw a curveball on this one. I'm going to agree with you and Kevin Owens. Yeah, if I think a- that, that's going to be the bold prediction of the night, honestly, the way they're yeah. pushing it. Like, I have not seen KO get the upper hand on uh, Braun Strowman this whole time, and he really likes KO. So I think that finally KO gets one over on Braun. Yeah, I'm going to go. I have to agree with you because, I mean, I think they're going to throw a curveball and let KO win. Like, maybe, I've been thinking about Jinder it for Mahal weeks. comes running down and strikes Braun for KO to climb the ladder. There's a lot of possibilities you could do. There is a lot of, yeah. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I think it's going to be screwy. And Braun's going to be pissed. And if KO wins the Universal again, now he's got Roman and Braun breathing down his neck. True. But then again, in that match, if if Roman does win, who I'm going to give that prediction now, Roman's probably going to win. I mean, as much as I don't want to see it, as much as Vince has put this match together, Roman has lost every single fucking time. It's about time Roman finally wins the damn thing so we can move on from Brock Lesnar. Because yeah. he doesn't give a damn about the company. He doesn't give a damn about his fans. He just doesn't care. He wants to be a UFC fighter. Let him be a UFC fighter. He just likes the paychecks. I'm sick and tired of not seeing a champion never there. AJ Styles is out there every week busting his ass as the greatest fucking wrestler in the world. I mean, next to Okada and Kenny. The Bucks... But they do, you know what I mean. AJ does right, is doing a lot of work. I mean, we'll, we'll just say one of the best wrestlers in the world. One of the best wrestlers in the world. Yeah, I mean, the reason I bring up like people like Kenny, Kenny's wrestling with a broken heel right now. Did you know that? Uh, no, I did not. Yeah, Kenny's got a fractured heel, I believe, is what he what he has. Um, so he's been wrestling with that. So his wrestling game is a little bit down, but he's still wrestling on it. That's a better champ. He's their fucking main champ. He's going to continue to wrestle. He was just did the whole G1. That's ridiculous on a broken fucking heel. Yep. The Bucks have wrestled for 50,000 different promotions. Okada is just a really good wrestler. Like, extremely good fucking wrestler. So, Brock's not a wrestler. Even Shinsuke will tell you that. Brock has no respect for the business. He doesn't love it. Check yeah, out I mean, I mean, he was a wrestler. He was a, he wrestled uh, for Min- uh, Minnesota Golden Gophers, I think, in uh, you know the NCAA. He, he doesn't care anymore. He might not. Yeah. He thinks of it as a money game. He's selling tickets. I'm making money. That's all I care about anymore. Ever since in New Japan, Shinsuke talks about it in his new book. Well, when he was in New Japan? For a yeah, when he time. faced Brock in New Japan, he goes... Um, I watched Wrestle Talk cover this, so here's me ripping off Wrestle Talk. But I got to talk about this because this is interesting. Shinsuke said when he wrestled Brock for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship back in New Japan, it's as if Brock, you know, when you wrestle someone that loves the business, he said it's different. You know, they love the business. Whereas Brock, he doesn't have that. He, it's just a job to him. He doesn't care. Is how Shinsuke put it. Uh. So, my prediction for the Universal title match, Roman wins. Okay. I, I'm going to go with that. What about you for that one? Because uh, we just, That yeah. hasn't came up yet. I'll give you that one. That you give that one, you go ahead. But I'm just giving that now because I was on the thought. All right, so what's the next match here? Um, we got... The next one will be Bludgeon Brothers versus The New Day. Uh, honestly, well, I think uh, Vince is really liking the Bludgeon Brothers. The way he's been booking them. I think Bludgeon Brothers is going to go over The New Day. Maybe... And... After that, I don't know what's next for the new day. Break up. It's and I've been saying this for a while. You you've been selling a lot of merchandise with the new day. You've been, you know, they're PR. I mean, they're, I'm getting the new fanatics. day autograph pops for free for one of my friends. So wait, what? I'm getting three. I'm getting the new day pops, all three of them with the autographs on it, not even taken out of the box. 
Oh yeah, my little brother has those when we met when we met them. Kofi's a great guy. Biggie's a great guy. I don't like Xavier. I, I I've mentioned that before. I just don't like him. All right. Um, I'm gonna have to agree, Bludgeon Brothers. I I I don't see Vince giving the New Day the titles, but. I, I, just I, I, I don't either. I think it's uh, time to move on from the New Day. I like the New Day. I just think maybe keep them on the mid-card of the tag team scene. Or break up and go their own ways. I mean... I mean, that too. I mean, it's I been since 2015? 2014. 2014, they've been a team. I think it's time to separate for a little while. Yeah. Um, so... That's, that's it for that one. We got uh, the next match is going to be Dolph this Ziggler and Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> Ten. No, I'm not going to do it. But um, uh, well, we did do it. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not drunk. Right. Um. No, you know that was just a drunken chant that just went wrong. Uh, yeah, that's the truth. I mean, you know, the spider heel persona jokes, but yeah. Uh. What do you think for this one? I really don't know how to call this one. Um, this this one can go either way. If I had to choose, I think it's like going to be a deal. Seth Rollins retains it. I'm not retain. Sorry, he's going to win it. Actually, I'm sorry. Seth retains the title. No, he does not have. No, he's not going to retain it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thinking of Dolph at first, and that's what fucked me up. Um, I'm sorry. It was funny. It was too easy. Uh-huh. I know. I was thinking of Dolph at first retaining, and then it just went to, now I changed my mind mid-sentence. That's <laughs> how you got Seth is going to retain the title. He does not have. All right. Um, I think Seth's going to win the uh, Intercontinental Championship. I, I can't disagree with you. I think if Seth wins it, that's what's going to cause Dean to go heel. So I'm going to say Seth as well. And then maybe Dolph Ziggler and Brett McIntyre will break up and we get Drew McIntyre being a formidable foe of his own. And right. Dean and Seth's going to have a rivalry. I, I don't see Dean being, especially right, with his maybe new Maybe Drew McIntyre will say, I can't play second fiddle to a loser. Maybe. Although you're in a boy, you're in a three-man band, so fuck yourself. <laughs> it's right, like you that, were a cheerleader. That's what I would say. You were a wannabe boy band. Ooh. Um... Yeah, I can see Seth winning and then moving on to That's right. feuding with Dean Ambrose. Sorry, yeah, I had a brain. Yeah, everyone thinks Dean's going to turn. I mean, we'll have to see with that. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm just, I'm making now, a little prediction there. That would be the perfect there. thing to do. Like, for him coming back, he'd say, you know, when I had this time off, I had to be thinking an awful lot. Yeah, well, I, I, I could see it. I, I definitely could. You know what I mean? Like, so that that, that that's what I'm thinking. Like, it, it's, they have the potential's there, but they don't have to do it because he's well liked. Um, it's not something that's urgent. Is what I'm saying. But, no, um, I agree with you there, but I'm just gonna go with what everyone else is probably thinking. Right. On that one, so I agree with you on Seth. It's gonna be Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jeff Hardy for the United States Championship. Uh, this rivalry has. T- <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of funny uh, how much dick kicking has been going on since Shinsuke's heel turn. I mean, my God. So much dick kicking. So much dick kicking. Not even funny. I mean, it's, it's, it's somewhat funny. It's terrible that they're doing this to him. He's such a great worker. He doesn't need to be doing this. It makes him look like an asshole. I, that's kind of the whole point of being a heel. But. I, no, I get the point of being a heel. I'm saying it's just like. This man has so much talent. He's so talented. He can just be a heel by not saying a word or speaking Japanese. He can be a heel in so many ways. You know what would be funny? He starts kicking people in the dick. Ever since I saw the interview of Eric Bischoff uh, saying that he would come back as a manager role in WWE, I thought throw him on Shinsuke. It's perfect. I think it'd work. I mean, we got to do that eventually here, but uh, all right. But, uh, Check yep. So we got. Um, I th- I'm going to say Shinsuke Nakamura wins by interference from Randy Orton. 
I was just about to say that. I have to agree with you on that one. Randy's been running around. Just don't shake his hand, Shinsuke. As a word of warning, if he tries to shake your hand, don't do it. One of two things. He's either played with himself beforehand, or two, he's going to RKO you. He's, he's going to give you herpes. He's, he's going to do some. I mean, he's, that, he's gonna, it's he's pretty fucked touch, up. He's going to touch his herpes infested fucking dick. He's going to, to do, uh, you know. He's going to feel you up, Shinsuke. Yep. Shake my hand. I'm like, no, don't do it. And Shinsuke's going to be like, no, and kick him in the fucking dick. But uh, anyway. Yeah, so. Oh, kick him right in the dick. <laughs> Sorry, no speak English. No speak English. Ooh, no. Uh, um, next, yeah, uh, next match is going to be Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh the, the, this uh, this match is going to be fairly interesting. How they're going to pull this one off? Mickey James is hurt. Uh, Alexa Bliss really has no allies going into this match. Um, she has to basically do this all by herself. I'm going to really love to see how they're going to pull this one off. Uh, I feel that the go- the goddess of Alexa Bliss is not going to look the same after this. Oh, um, it's going to be terrible. If I have to do an honest guess, and the obvious answer right now would be Ronda, I have to say it's Alexa Bliss by some surprise women's wrestler sticking up for her. I mean, it very well could be Caitlyn. She's participating in the uh, women's tournament, the Mae Young Classic. That's what I'm talking about. It's that could, be- it, it could be a surprise. It could be somebody new. It could be... We don't know. For argument's sake, I'm going to say Rhonda. Because if you have the biggest name, you know, the baddest woman on the planet, except for Holly Holmes. Yeah, if you have the again, baddest I woman on thinking, the planet. I am thinking that this would be the time to uh, pull the trigger on Rhonda, right? No one's in Alexa Bliss's corner. You make the match very close. Or How you just have to kick the shit out of Alexa because she's like three feet of fury. Four feet, sorry. Three feet of fury. What the fuck, man? She had the <laughs> I'm making a joke of how short she is, but she, you know, it's. I'm, I'm just making fun of how short she is, but I think this is the time. If you have Ronda Rousey in your company, you've been booking her like honestly crap recently. Well, I mean, she barely had a match. She finally had her first match on Raw against Alicia. Fox. And it sucked. Yeah, it was terrible. I mean. It was good for TV. If it was, thank Christ, that was not a pay per view match. Oh yeah, I mean it works for TV, but it, you expect more from Ronda. And then Alicia Fox is a veteran. You expect more. I mean that's why Alicia Fox is like never held a title. Yeah. <laughs> it All right, but yeah, I'm gonna say Ronda and let's. I'll go with Alexa Bliss by uh, interference from somebody. I would like to see your theory though. That would be interesting. Someone like Caitlyn. Right. Um, I'll say this. I'm saying Ronda wins. If she doesn't win, but I guess who's going to help interfere with Alexa, I should at least get half a point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, that doesn't work. Are you picking Ronda or are you picking Alexa? I'm picking Ronda. I'm just saying if Caitlyn interferes, I should at least get pity points. Fine, they won't you, count for fine, the official you get, score. You, you, you get a point one. Point one. I'll get a point one. Oh wait, no, no. Then again, wait. What if it's seven, seven to seven point one? You beat me. No, that doesn't work. You, you just it'll, it'll be pity points. points. They won't matter. It's okay. like whose line is it anywhere? Uh, yeah, anywhere. Pity points. Whose line is it anyway? Sorry, I got distracted by the little pop-up box. Uh, <sighs> well, the next match we will be talking about. We're just going down the list here. Is Carmella versus Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I had no idea that they were going to be doing a triple threat match for this. So, it shows you how much I pay attention to SmackDown, other than the AJ Styles and Samoa Joe rivalry. Um, that got pretty interesting, uh, especially on last Tuesday's. Holy fuck, that was insane. Um, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll go more into that when we talk about that. So, uh, honestly, looking at these three competitors, uh, I think they still have the SmackDown Women's title on Carmella. Yes. So uh, wait. Yes. Yeah, they do. Okay, so if I had to choose between these three, I don't think they're 
booking Becky Lynch that strong. So the, the clear winner is probably going to be Charlotte or Carmella. Um, it's a throw up. We could both lose, to be honest. It's a triple threat. I will have to choose Carmella retaining. I can't argue with you there. I can very well see them, especially... Although Charlotte had a sick burn telling Carmella she's a diva in a woman's era. That <laughs> woman. Yeah, that happened. I'm going to go with Charlotte. I mean, it's an obvious choice. I mean, she was hurt. That's why she she had a breast implant explode or something. Uh, I think that's why she originally dropped the title. It's literally called Silicon Valley. But, uh... I'm going to go with Charlotte. You're going to go with Carmella. We can both lose if Becky wins. So this is going to be interesting. Uh-huh. I, I don't see Becky Lynch winning, but color me surprised if that happens. Uh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. The hate of the hour. We're going to be talking so much shit on this one. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. Uh, do I really have to fucking look at this match again? I mean, you had Bobby Lashley beat Roman Reigns last fucking month at Extreme Rules. To still then go with Roman. I mean, why? How does that make sense? Yeah, wasn't the stipulation of that match the winner goes on to no, face no, Brock at SummerSlam? Rules. No, no. They then decided, oh, we're going to have two separate, like, tri- triple threat matches. And the winner of the winners of those will next week they face off against each other. So then they had Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley, who won both of their triple threat matches. Clearly. It's still stupid. It, it, it's. Which also set up the Bobby Lashley and Elias little thing they have going on, where he forgot the lyrics to the one song that Elias was fucking singing. I can't remember what it was, but you just hear him go, he's just murmuring. <laughs> like, so yeah, now you have Bobby Lashley looking like an idiot after okay. that. But in all seriousness, when it comes to this, the most I don't understand how you have Roman Reigns lose to Bobby Lashley. Have those two face again and have then just have Roman win all of a sudden. What was the point of having Bobby Lashley win his match against Roman Reigns? Because no Roman is my big dog. Oh, there, there, there's, no, there's no reward. You're fired. I'm just saying, there's no reward in it. So, I was practically useless. This match should have been Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. And uh, you, you, could, you could always keep up the heel thing with Lesnar as the universal champ. With having him beat Bobby Lashley, not being there that long. I mean, but people you want to you want to get people would tune in to want to see Lesnar lose. That is what yeah, have a shock victory on Raw or something. But if he ever shows up, no, he wouldn't show up to Raw and wrestle. No, I'm saying you have a shock at a pay per view, one of the big four. This is a big four, though, so that's the interesting. Right, that, that's what I'm talking about. But no, you have Lesnar, oh, Lesnar, Lesnar. Yeah, he is a loser, but he, I wouldn't say it to his face. I mean, oh, he fucking kill you. Try hitting on Sable too. Yeah, that's the double whammy. But, uh, I mean, not a loser in the fact of how much money he's making. It's just his love for the business is just... So, uh, As Shinsuke will tell you. Uh-huh. Like I said, My I... prediction, I think Roman Reigns finally goes over. I'm going to have to say I'm not rooting for him to do it, but it's time. It's time to get the title back on the fucking show. I, that's, what I, that's what I think they're going with. I'm gonna ha- like, like I said earlier, I'm going with Roman just because you need to get the title back on the fucking show. You have a Money in the Bank briefcase that's supposed to challenge somebody for the world title. But if the fucking world champion, you know, the universal champion, isn't on the fucking show, what's the point of having the Money in the Bank for that title? What was the point of having a Raw guy win it? Brock's never there. Maybe they would have... If, if, if Brock wins, I don't see it happening, but if Brock will win... Maybe they're doing a push for Braun to go in the blue brand. Why would they do that? I don't know. They have enough people over there. But that that that's what that's the only logical thing you could do with Braun. I don't know. I'm I'm uh, like I said, I'm going with Roman finally fucking goes over. I'm not happy about it. I'm but not it's happy about it either. We're hoping the for the when we say that Roman Reigns is going to over, we're hoping for the shortest possible title reign that you can give us that makes sense. Oh, he gets screwed over to another WrestleMania. That'd make me laugh. This this whole main event, it should be the exact clone of Seth Rollins. 
that would make me extremely fucking happy. Both Roman and Lesnar get. Oh, no, it's fucked. Like, I liked Roman Reigns when he faced Brock the first time, right? Before that, 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 that the the uh, the one where um, it was uh, him and Brock and Seth Rollins came running down with the, with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Still an amazing moment. I love that moment. I, I remember being a total mark and I got upset. But uh, I fucking loved it. Uh, it was funny. It was funny back then. Uh, and now when I think about it, I'd have rooted for Seth's moment the whole way. Um, but, uh, and then what really made me dislike him was the fact that whenever he had the, uh, one, uh, promo against, uh, Seth Rollins, the Suffer and Suck Attach line, I'm like, this guy can't talk. No. I mean, everyone will tell He's you. He's trying to be like The Rock. Because if The Rock can do it, why can't he? Well, he doesn't have that. He doesn't have the charisma. His charisma is not nearly there. Okay, you could just you could see it. Um, what, what, what's another point that I wanted to say? I just had it, and now I lost my train of thought. Roman fans will tell you, oh, but he's getting better at his in ring work. He's no, getting he's, better at his mic work. Okay, it's like his again, he's work getting is phenomenal. Better. I love him in the ring. He's awesome. Okay, when he's not doing his he six is, moves of doom. He, he, you know, he, ten he, here, but I'm you know six. He can he can fucking he, he can put on a good match with people. It's his fucking the mic skills aren't there. When you're in WWE, you, you are in charge of creating the most drama for your rivalry. He just doesn't bring. It. And look, we're not experts, but you got to understand who you're going to thrive to. The guy who can wrestle pretty good and then put on amazing promos. Look at Randy Savage. They, everyone wants to say he's a great wrestler. He's really good in the ring, but what did he also did he have? He had his words. They would draw you in, like, man, I can't wait to see Randy Savage. He have a, like some sort of catchphrase that you always say. It could sound really dumb to you at first, but it might catch on. Like what? What? <laughs> what? What? What <laughs> actually caught on? I know something yes, stupid. Yes. Is just the one word. What? That caught on with everybody. You just need to find your. What works? Like talk like yourself, like Roman. Don't. Now, not everybody is going to be a Rock, Chris Jericho, who can come up with like ten different catchphrases. I mean, not everyone's it's their that charisma. Good. It's the charisma. Right. Not everybody's that good at that. But you at least have to find one personality defining trait about your character. Okay. That's well, what I've learned uh, doing TEW videos and playing TEW is. Everyone you book, you have to have one defining personality trait of somebody. Oh, I love it when it says they came up with a catchphrase, because I'm like... Oh, oh I wish I knew what it was, you know what I mean? Like, fuck. what the fuck's the catchphrase? I'm kind of curious to see what got over, because, you know, things go over all the time. Like, fucking James Storm literally got sorry about your damn luck over. And most, most people would just go, sorry, like him. Eli Drake, dummy, yeah, yeah, as much as I hate it. Dummy, yeah, I don't know, it made me laugh first time I heard that. It was irritating for the yeah, longest yeah, time. Yeah, he has the talk show, Eli's uh, Facts of Life or something like that. Yeah, it was something like that, uh, yeah. And he would press the fucking button <laughs> on whoever he hated. It doesn't even have to be that creative. Like, dummy, yeah, okay, you sound like a five-year-old. It got over. Dummy, yeah. Just I not suffering it. suck a test. Roman has room for improvement. If he could work on the things that don't work. How much do you have to improve when you've been at this spot for three years? You improve every day. Even the experts, you know, the legends will tell you, you can improve every day. It's just about how you go at yourself. Roman, if you're not good at talking, get a manager. Put a manager on him that will talk from like, look at Roman. Urgh. I mean, Dean and Seth were clearly the talkers of the Shield. See, that, uh, that's funny because that's what they did for Bruno in the 70s. That guy, I, I, I researched it. Uh, his manager, uh, Scotland, he, well, he, they put a manager on him because Bruno couldn't talk for shit, and he still... Well, his accent was heavily thick, too. Yeah, yeah, he had a thick Italian accent that no one could understand him, plus, like, he couldn't put the words into English at the time. So they they, they put Scotland on him. Hit, hit, huge hit in North America. Huge hit. I mean, people outside the territory of the World Wide West Wrestling Federation wanted to see Bruno fucking wrestle with the guard. That's why he's beloved in all wrestling. And like I said, I mean, rest in peace, so Bruno. I mean, I know Bruno's family. I went, to, I, you know, I go to get my hair cut at his son's barbershop 
Like, I've, I've had, seen the I, WWF yeah, had, title. Right, yeah, I've had a haircut in there a couple times. It's a nice looking place. All those photos of Bruno, historic. Even your dude that you're booking, that uh, big Asian dude. What's his name? John Bubba. Yeah, I think he has a photo with him right there as one of the key features, showing the size difference between Bruno and him. Bruno was bulky, but this dude was stocky. You know what I mean? John Bubba was like six foot five. That was a giant to the people in Japan. Like six six. I mean, that's still pretty tall to this day. I mean... That's still tall, but no, we're saying back in the 70s. Like, oh, that was tall. Evolution gap. That, that's like seven foot today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... All that right. was really big to people. Oh, yeah. Anything can be an attraction. Have Roman lose the fucking body armor. Oh, no, we need the merchandising sale of that body armor. Have him lose the body armor. Just have him ripped. If you just show his... his this is going to sound weird, but it, it works. Have Roman ditch the body armor and wrestle... In you know his maybe his pants without a shirt, why? It doesn't matter what he says after that, right? The women are still going to love him more, right? It makes him despised by men, loved by women. You know what I mean? All right, all right, uh, Rick Rude. Exactly. Uh, is he giving me ravishing Roman Reigns? That'd be oh, amazing. Gosh. We're doing that. Ravishing Roman Reigns. Okay, I'm that doing it. Good We're idea. doing it. Okay. The new uh, Ravishing Roman Reigns. Ravishing Roman Reigns will happen in one of our series. Triple R. We'll call him Triple R. We'll have Triple R versus Triple H. Triple R. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's move on before we get any more out of hand. So, uh, yeah, uh, Roman Reigns goes over uh, Brock Lesnar. Finally, finally gets the goddamn title off the beast. Um, that's it. That's all I have. Uh, so for the final match, which we know that's not going to be the main we're going to say it is because it should be. It's AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. Last Tuesday was fucking insane from what I heard. Okay? From what I read on the WWE uh, notifications. All I remember was, I guess Samoa Joe had some sort of surprise for AJ Styles later that night. And the, su like, the surprise was, I guess he texted AJ Styles' wife. I guess like... Trying to get in between his relationship. Um, Vince, Some shit like that. God again. Let me look it up just to make sure. I, I have to. I, I have to see this. Just, just to make sure I know, like, I get the whole like uh, details right. Well, that's gonna be an awkward pause while you look this up. Um, just I don't know. Bring up a topic or something. How do I think? All right, here's one. How do I feel this is going to play out compared to the Summer Slams of the past? A little better. Looking at the card, I think I think it'll work. I mean, it's a lot better than fucking Brock, you know, precision hitting Randy. That was stupid. Remember that? That was a waste. Looking at this say? card, I feel it could be good. If executed properly, it could be good. We are not sponsored by this fucking ad. We are back on SmackDown Live for the WWE. Let's listen to it real quick. Just audio, but I can't get us. Yeah, you can't get us. You can see how over AJ Styles is. They can't even get a word in edgewise. Look at this. This is the match we've been wanting to see for a while. Keep that in dude, mind. Oh dude. my god! I mean, I, I'm I'm hyped for this match. This is gonna be my favorite match of the night, by the way. And they'll fuck it up. Uh, I guess they'll find a way. But uh, well, the video just buffered. That's nice. Nice. Like, Here we go. You stab me in the back. Then you stab me in the heart. Stab me in my heart. In the heart. I know. Champion above all else, even if it means you're a failure as a father. Oh, 
I thought he said they'll have their daddy back, and I'm daddy. <laughs> that would have been better, but in reality, all Samoa Joe had to do was, you know, wait, wait. beep, 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 beep. Hi, Mrs. Styles. How are you? It's Joe. on 2%. I hope it makes it. I got home where I could it just fell to 1% kids. that fast. Hook my wife and as I was holding Wendy, she said, uh, baby. My name's Wendy. Can't lose your cool like that. You know, we, we support you and we appreciate everything you're doing from it. But you can't lose your cool like that. You got to remain focused. You got to remain focused. Because you got to get some... Is that as loud as shit? That was loud. Well, the phone died, but you get the point. Well, yeah, I got deafened by Samoa Joe for a second, but you know. Um, that okay? Well, okay. So we, we we got a lot to decipher from that from. I guess what he brought up last. <laughs> his family. Uh, he's like they're rooting for me. Oh. Can you just imagine all your family? Friends rooting against you. A sport. If that were to be true. This is one of those things. Clearly, they're really good friends, as we already know. Yeah. Um, that's why they're able to dig like this. I'm pretty sure if it was any other wrestler, AJ might not be too happy about that. But since it's Joe and they've known each other for a very long time, I feel that's why this works. If it was yeah, any I mean, wrestler, AJ put like, punch dude, him in the dude, fucking dude, face. Yeah, they were in, um... They wrestled in the southeast, like, everywhere together. It's kind of insane. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> with, this, with this whole entire rivalry, it looks like Samoa Joe is gaining an advantage on winning. However, I don't see it happening. I think AJ Styles still retains WWE time. As much as I like AJ, I want to see them shock the shit out of me and have Joe finally win a fucking title. A, a major one at that. I mean, you're, you're talking major one. one of the most prestigious titles. All yeah. I want to see Joe go over, so I'm going to I'm gonna select Joe. I just want to see it. Bold prediction, no reason why. I just want to see it, so Samoa Joe for me. All right. Well, <laughs> um, there's really nothing else to uh, talk about. Maybe other, other than, than random pandering that we've already done, and you know, Wait, where is the promo. Wait, so hold on, time out. There's no Raw Tag Team Champions uh, chip match on this. Apparently not, unless it's another pre-show match that we didn't notice. It's not on here. It's not on the list. No, but it's probably something that was added after fucking Monday that we didn't catch. Because clearly this thing's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve matches on the card. Yeah, I don't see it with anything on there. Because the raw team tag, the, the raw tag team titles haven't been bumped before. They were advertised for the pay per view, got bumped. <laughs> exactly. The raw tag team titles get bumped off a of pay per view again. Oh man. This... Vince just loves burying his flagship show's titles, doesn't he? He gives it to a non-existent paper champion. Yeah. I'll go as far as calling Brock Lesnar a paper champion. Because I mean, if he, he at least done... defended it 
once a month on the pay per view. Okay, fine. I'll give him respect for at least showing once a month. But he's a paper champion. Like he doesn't yeah. do it. He won't do it because where's the money? I'm an I'm an special attraction. You're an occasional wrestler. I get it, Brock. But maybe we shouldn't have put our major title on Goldberg or you. We should have let KO run with it, and then had Finn. I mean, Goldberg him. makes sense, right? You want you want to bring some prestige to it, so you let some older guy who was popular back then win it for like maybe a couple months, three months, and let him go, just like that. That makes sense. Not a whole fucking year. Not a year and a half to begin yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> Almost a year and a half of this garbage. My God. But as to wrap this up, because I can't think of anything else to say, and my laptop's about to die. I don't know who has the advantage here. You let us know in the comments who you think has the advantage. If this video stays Are up, we you know, in some of our predictions. You want to tell us that about that? Comment down below. Um, if you like what we do, please always give us a like. That really helps us out uh, getting on uh, people's suggestions on other wrestling videos like this. Always comment. We always reply back. Even if they're not always nice. Okay, if you fucking hate us, do you hate our guts? Please comment down below. We really want to see how much you hate us. <laughs> we love the the hate. It, it's always fun. Because you got to be doing something right for people to hate you. That's true. Um, But yeah. Let us know how bold our predictions are. If you guys have different predictions, let us know. And give us a reason why. Always, like he said, we love the engagement. But that's it for me, at least. That is it for me as well. Um, this is uh, Eric Johnson and Kevin Raymond sign signing out. We will see you on the next video. It's most likely going to be a TEW video. So. Probably. Yeah. And we'll reveal who won. We will see you next time.